Grace, welcome. Thank you for being here. So we're doing a weekly reading. Actually, I did a weekly reading for you guys for the 13th through the 19th. I uploaded it. I put it public. Some of you already had a chance to listen to it, but the audio was truly bad. It had a lot of, uh, you know, noise. So I wanted though, for you to listen to this reading because I felt like it was so beautiful. So I put the cords back down and I'm going to talk to you about the reading that I already did. But just hopefully this time, you know, you can hear it. So that's why you're not seeing me pre-shuffle or shuffle here because I already did. And I'm just trying to recreate the reading that I did for you when I uploaded it. So it is a Celtic cro uh, cross um, spread for the week of 13th through the 19th. Before I started here with um, the spread or asking what do you need to know from the 13th through the 19th, I asked for some type of um, messages or guidance or what do you guys need to know? So the first card that came here is a little bit of faith goes a long way. Remember that. And it's important because in the spread after when, uh, you know, I did the spread and I said in the reading here, this sounds like Hierophant and you guys got the Hierophant. Uh, so it seems like for some of you, this is mostly this reading is going to be a lot about your love life or about a connection but for some of you I feel like also it has to do uh, with greatness and wealth and prosperity it's coming in and we're going to talk a little bit here about the second card but yeah it seems like it's very important for you guys and we will talk about the spread what's going on to keep that in mind the faith the belief because he's saying clarity five 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 and it's important as well because this is, i'm telling you these cards were like that's why i love this reading you felt everything was in sync five 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 is part also of the hierophant it says great tran uh, transformation you aren't a victim of circumstances rather you are the beneficiary of it if that weren't the case life will be pretty dull you will set yourself up for success in the long run if you are willing to adapt to this shift. Everything is working out for the best. At long last, you are accomplishing what you set out to do. Everything will work out perfectly in the end. So have faith. Even if you have been going through a lot here or you're dealing with some consequences, karma, situation, things um, are coming towards you um, in a kind of a blessing way. And we're going to talk as well here. Uh, for the next card that is coming is great blessing also uh, number 999 that kind of hermit release your current circumstances another word about circumstances are ending so you might take advantage of better ones and the reading that I did I'm going to actually in the description box I'm going to include the weekly for May 6th through the 12th and also the timeless reading that I did for you guys where you were kind of releasing or you were removing a big obstacle in your life because this is what I feel like also it's coming it keeps coming for you guys with the weeklies and the bonuses reading and the monthlies it says uh, so you might take advantage of better ones if you are experiencing a significant change or conclusion viewing your life as a series of cycles or chapters may be helpful how can you make room for something new to emerge so again something you kind of need to open up and i'm hoping i have all the cards here for you guys because i don't remember if i missed anything the other card that came for you is great blessings so it says nurture yourself your needs desires and boundaries let go of things that are weighing you down make space for something meaningful and expand your spirit to all areas of your life that big love opportunity or job needs to squeeze in somewhere so after you know this card you got the new beginning so that's why i feel like with the new beginning is trust opening to something especially because again you're going through some type of cycles and i think i'm missing a card there was another card but now i don't remember something about new cycles here but he's saying there's you have a spiritual connection with someone there's the spiritual union you just have to trust the process or take a leap of faith or something is starting new here for you guys so what happened here when um i did the celtic crow spread so the first card that came actually for you guys was the empress and it was crossed here challenged by the king of pentacles we can look at the king of pentacles 
as uh, in this situation helping or hindering but I feel like it's helping this Empress so again looking at this for some of you of course it can mean growth of a family it can even mean for some of you that there's motherhood coming in but for most of you I feel like it's again that blessing that big love in your life unconditional love and the king of pentacles when i look at the king of pentacles is very much someone here that is looking at things not only there's a abundance here and sensuality with the king of pentacles but this is a practical person goal oriented here looking at things as tangible but in this situation is like it's like everything that surrounds earthiness sensuality pleasure uh, that's what i'm getting here now it's interesting because before I, I was clarifying here, I'm like, okay, so what is going on with this King of Pentacles? What is the challenge? Uh, is like believing in love. I know as a fixed sign, sometimes, you know, it's very much difficult for someone here to open up to new opportunities, especially the King of Pentacles that wants to see things tangible, practical, sensible, because at the root of this reading is the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is coming here as someone on a mission, ready here to clear the way, to talk, to communicate. It's, it's something that needs to happen now with this Knight of Swords. So it might be something that you want to move towards or you're expecting some type of communication here. The clarification for this one was the Six of Swords. So I feel like some type of offering here or movement the six of swords is mercury in aquarius as well so to me it's like fluid mind balance here letting go of difficulties also i feel like this knight of swords is very much quick and charging in that six of swords is coming more as, as a calm energy so i feel like that's where you are especially especially if we're looking at the magician here that was was clarifying the king of pentacles it looks like something here that you have to open your mind something that again if we're looking uh, as i mentioned because now i have all the cards here so i can bring the story together you're looking for clarity in the past we have the moon with the four of cups something you were settling for you're waiting you're not sure here remember again the kind of blessing blessings and the cycles that are coming in so we have the empress all about love all about opening up creating a new life here a new cycle coming in your life and the king of pentacles trying here to look at things in a new way this may be you this may be the person that you're connecting with but how can someone break through think clearly maybe again change your circumstances some of you your mind or there's this transformation again something i feel here you want to go towards or to offer or to find a way clarity for something that opens up this big love this transformation this abundance this greatness in your life the challenge that's what will be and i'm, I'm saying this is going to be very uh, very important when i tell you what the outcome will be so you're dealing with growth, you're dealing with love, you're dealing with nurturing, you're dealing with someone that is trying to open their mind, to think of new possibilities, to get out of this confusion, someone that has been staying there. The Four of Cups is Moon in Cancer. Staying um, in a situation, considering it, to me, is also sometimes the energy of the one that got away, but most than anything, it's like very much into someone's feelings. That's what it, in the past, and you're thinking now, they, something needs to be clear here something needs to to happen to move forward with some offering or some type of calming energy opening the mind thinking clearly what came here in your crown chakra is what you're going to think is going to happen and i i have said it for um aries the six of cups stalks them for you guys is this knight of cups this approach to romance actions proposals one of the readings that you guys had it was about um, someone wanting to propose or someone was acting, you know, in a way here towards love or opening up. So you're thinking with the Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles came here as a clarifying card, meaning that um, in this case, someone here feels like it's going to be reciprocated. I feel like, especially this is Morning Taurus, but in this particular one, the... Six of Pentacles is coming as someone that is very generous, uh, even very spiritual or very open, wants to give. So it, it seems like someone that wants to give love, wants to open up towards this love. I do believe before it came also with um, one of the clarifying cards was, uh, 
I believe the strength card. So it feels like with the strength card, someone here, uh, it, it kind of is trying to have that willpower or um, even that inner strength to open up. There's not here who has the upper hand or who has the real power. It's just someone that believes here in compassion and love and wants to open up. That's what you think is the bigger person, the one that you know truly loves, does not see here anything else, but just wants to give. That's your, your crown chakra. That's your thinking. Abundance and give and take. Again, you're waiting for some type of reciprocation here uh, kind of situation. Now, I have to say, when you came to this Empress, I'm sorry about the chaos, um, the Three of Swords and the Three of Wands came in. So, whatever is this, as I mentioned, or some of you are expecting something about the growth of a family or unconditional love, but you felt torn regarding some type of anticipation, some type of, you know, someone that may be far from you or what you expected from someone, they felt torn, is not arriving yet. And now it feels like, okay, is this big love going to arrive soon? And this is important because your influence is here, your headspace, your behavior has the two of ones. You feel like, or you're between two uh, choices or you're waiting for someone here to arrive towards you and you've been feeling torn about it and kind of, you know, it's like your expectations or anticipation here has been something that is still not coming your way. You feel like, when is this going to happen? Or what do I need to do here? How do I need to set my intentions? Especially because, are you waiting for some type of messages, clarity, or are you still kind of figuring out when is this news going to come towards me? That's going to be your headspace. You have the two of wands, which feels like a decision making here, a movement. But in this particular one, it comes as someone that is waiting for this growth, this love. I feel like you know something with the Page of Swords. You are aware of the truth. So that's your attitude. You feel like you have to make a choice. It might be between, you know, that leap of faith when it comes to that spiritual union, that connection. Now, external to you, this is what is important. We're going to talk a little bit here about the clarification. But you have the Two of Wands. External to you is the Two of Cups. So this might be your person. This might be your blind spot. As I mentioned, you're trying here to decide or wait for someone to come in. But this person already is looking at you as a soulmate. That's what surrounds you. So there's a... a union there's an understanding an emotional bond this person believes that you guys belong together you're supposed to be together this is external and it's interesting because the clarification for this came with the nine of wands and the tower now there's something about this king of pentacles here with the magician that i, I mentioned look at it the lightning striking here like someone being aware for this person, it's coming even with the tower. It's just someone here feels or too guarded or afraid. Something like a shake-up here. Like, look at it. It's like someone, what is that? Is How is this going to change, this drastic situation here? I know that we're supposed to be together, but I don't know if they feel like you're not ready to open up or this person is a little bit afraid to show off or to confess. There's, there's a little bit apprehensive energy here. Though, again, it's about a union. But it's coming as someone that is apprehensive. It is careful. External. They, they look at you as a soulmate. But also feels like there's going to be, I don't know, like someone is so afraid. Or is looking at you as being afraid and unsure. Now, what I need to talk here. So what was the immediate future when it comes to this situation? What's coming towards you? It's very important, guys, because this seven of wands... Is what's coming in with whatever we talked here about the situation, what you're thinking is going to happen, this mutual decision here, love, uh, you know, a kind of opening your mind, manifesting this connection. The seven of wands is coming here as someone that feels like they need to stand above everything else. This is true. By the way, it's Mars in Leo, but it's like someone really being tested and standing above everything else. Look at this. Like someone is like, I know where I need to level up. I like it's very much uh, again that will 
that strength, that power that someone feels like whatever the challenge is, I'm up to the challenge. I know I'm being tested. I'm not going to shy away, especially because there's some uncertainties here with the moon. The moon that was coming here in the past, that someone was still also not sure here, kind of lingering and waiting. This is very passive energy. Now someone is like more kind of active, more ready to fight or more ready here to kind of whatever the oppositions here, even, you know, things that are not clear. It's just the passion and the desire and that instinct that someone is ready to, to kind of overcome. That is the initiation. It is very important because of the outcome. But again, the sevens to me are about challenges, but also are about movement, how someone moves. In this situation is like someone that is very courageous and is standing above everything and is not afraid. That's what's coming in. And it's important, as I mentioned, because external is like someone here or secrets or some type of confession or someone's guard is up here and it feels like need to kind of um, open up here, say something that, I don't know, feels like terrifying or scary. Someone is up to that challenge. Now, what is here your... Hopes and fears. What do you want? What do you see possible? In the last reading that I did for you guys, the Ten of Cups kept coming as well. I feel like the happier ever after. You want to create a life with this person. Remember the Three of Wands that was your situation. What you're expecting, feeling torn, how much longer, delays. I don't know for some of you, again, you lost your faith and you feel like this is not going to come in. You're trying to find clarity. But this to me, it's engagement, commitment, a life together. That's what you're hoping for. Or a foundation. It's like someone that is happy where they are. Especially with Venus in Aries here. We have Venus as well. This is what you're hoping for. To be with someone here. To create a life. And this is more kind of simplistic than when it comes here to this situation with the Empress and the King of Pentacles. Because again, someone may be worried here about long term, about the practical part, as I mentioned here, when it comes to the material. But this is just someone that is like, we have this same passion, the same foundation. That's what we want here to achieve. That's You just want an emotional bliss and contentment and a strong foundation with someone. You're hoping at least that you and this person are going to have this. Now, what was the outcome of this situation? First, I have to say, we got um, the temperance. And I said this to me is very, very beautiful. Why? Because first of all, I, I see this as my twin flame or my soulmate emerging. But in this particular one, the temperance is like working here with all the elements to bring together. As I mentioned, you are dealing with someone needs to stand above everything else here and fight. You know that you have to make this important decision. The Empress is coming here ready again, very much nourishment open. So the temperance, it feels very alchemical type of energy, but it's like kind of bringing all this together, the merging of two people. It's like at the same time, I feel like this is also... It's like all the ingredients coming together. It's like magic is happening here. So it feels like it's going to be healing. It's going to be you two completing each other. Finally, you're feeling like everything makes sense. There's, um, though there's patience here and balance, look at everything is like someone is working, is working with whatever they have. So I feel like you and this person are merging of the souls. And I'm saying this because what came here, and also, by the way, the full came as well, which is the new beginning. I keep feeling like there's something here to just trust. I don't know if it feels like you are on the edge or something is going to be risky here, but just believe in this, trust in this situation. But it came, it was clarified by the King of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So it's that kind of love, is that kind of feeling here that has been lingering. Some of you, again, have gone through some emotional disappointment. There's still that big love. There's still that right ingredient here that is coming with the temperance and the king of cups of course now is mature knows exactly what love means or what are these feelings so i feel like this may be you this may be the person 
that you're dealing with. But we went from the King of Pentacles coming as a challenge when it comes to this growth and love and someone here merging all of this together. So that's why I feel like this, not only that you're going to achieve here something great, but also a big love is, com uh, is coming towards you. From disappointment here, what happened, kind of looking back to now working with all of this and bringing together this love or this transformation that is happening in your life, that's what's coming in. This spiritual union between you and someone else. The King of Wands before and the Queen of Wands came as well. So I feel like you and someone here are very, very passionate towards each other. But I feel like the outcome from whatever is the Seven of Wands that is coming in and the Empress that you have to overcome, it's like all this, you know, about love and growth and standing strong and not giving up is bringing together uh, you and this person, transformation and merging. Now, the overall reading here that I got, and I feel like the justice came twice, but this was very important. We got the Hierophant and the justice. So it feels something here, especially I feel like also this is like the um, Wheel of Fortune here. But there was something about divine timing here and doing the right thing and believing, especially because it's very important. Look at this justice. It has the balance here and there's that rotten apple. It's just very important in, you know, in our belief or how we act in this situation and keeping in mind the, the consequences and the karma so we don't let other situation here kind of rotten our soul or our belief. That's why, again, you're working here. There's this angelic, magical type of situation that is happening and the heart is full. Because, again, or some of you, there, there may be legal matters, consequences, but you want to believe that you're on the right track. You want to believe also about a release here that, you know, you don't want it to eat your soul here or to kind of make you feel that your life is, is not getting, you know, the balanced or you're feeling like you are someone here why you're not together, why this is not happening. Just having that um, belief here, but also, again, with a balance, looking at a situation in a fair way. That's what's coming in. I know that, again, this might confuse some of you here. I did not want to um, to start again, though I may, may do another bonus reading for you guys. I just felt like this was meant for you because it was such a great reading. I hope I did not confuse you. Um, thank you so much, all of you. Mm. 